Okay, so in this video we're going to start an introduction to chapter 6. Chapter 6 is going to be about momentum, and momentum is mass times velocity. So if I take this object, if this little part has a mass of about uh, 250 grams or 0.25 kilograms, and if I measure out that's about 1 meter, and if I say 1 1,000, so if I give it a speed of about um, 1 meter per second, 1 meter per second times 0.25 kilograms gives me uh, a um, momentum of 0.25 kilogram meters per second squared. Uh, I'm sorry, no squared on that. 2.5 kilogram meters per second. So the units on momentum are going to be kilogram meters per second and that's not going to get a fancy name of newtons or, or joules. This is going to be 0.25 kilogram meters per second. Now what I've just done is I've taken, that's 250 grams, that's 250 grams, this is another 250 grams, so it is now 750 grams or 0.75 kilograms. If I measure out roughly half a meter and I say 1 1,000, give it a speed of about half a meter per second. I take 0.75, which is 3 quarters, times, um, times 1 half, and so then I'm going to get 3 eighths, so I'm going to get 0.375 kilogram meters per second is going to be the momentum of 1 a little fast, 1 1,000. Okay, that's not really all that interesting. What we really want to talk about, and what I'll be doing a lot of, almost exclusively in this chapter, will be conservation of momentum. Now, when you conserve something, it means that you're going to have the same amount at the end as you do at the beginning. So if we're going to conserve momentum, what that means is we're going to have the same momentum at the beginning of something as we have at the end of something. And what that something is going to be is it's going to be a collision between two objects. So almost exclusively in this chapter we're going to be talking about collisions between two objects. So what I want to do for the rest of this lecture is I want to set up collisions I want to ask you to make a prediction and then I, and, and hit pause and then just roll the video and see what happens. And we're going to go through a bunch of scenarios pretty quickly. And then we'll talk about some of them a little bit later. Okay, so first collision is I've got a cart that's at rest and then I've got another cart that's going to come in and strike it and I've got a little spring on the end. Right? So what I want you to do is make a prediction about what's going to happen. Okay, here's what does happen. Okay, so what happened was this cart was stationary. This cart has roughly the same mass as this cart. It comes in, and roughly speaking, this cart stops, and this cart picks up the speed of the original, of the blue cart. Red cart picks up the speed of the blue cart. Okay, next collision. I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them together like this. Okay, what's going to happen? Okay, basically, again, what happens is because they have equal masses, they basically transfer momentum. So, in this collision here, the red card had zero, blue card had, say, negative, and then they switched so that the blue card ended up at zero, and the red card ended up with that, with, so the, the red momentum switched to the blue card, the blue momentum switched to the red card. They switched momentum. So, in the same thing, the momentum of the red cart is going to hop onto the blue cart, 
and the momentum from the blue card is going to hop onto the red card, and so they're just going to switch. Okay, now, it gets a little bit more complicated. If I add some mass, so now this, the red card is three times heavier than the blue card, now, what is going to happen? Okay, I should have given you a little bit more pause. But, let's look at that again. Think about what's going to happen. Ah, now, the blue card rebounds, the red card moves forward, but not as fast as the blue card was going originally. So, we're going to have to sort of, that's going to be a good one for us to analyze. It's a very sort of special one where the red card is stationary and has three times the mass of the blue card. Mathematics for that works out kind of well. Okay, and then let's talk about this one. What do you think is going to happen if they're both moving? Okay, so the red card basically stops and the blue card really, man, it really takes off and it really shoots that way. Okay, last thing that I want to do is I want to do stationary blue and then the red card is going to have the masses on it and it's going to come moving in. Okay, so let's analyze that one. Okay, so what you see in this case is that the red hardly slows down and then the blue takes off. The red slows down a little bit but not much but then the blue takes off just a little bit faster than the red was going. Okay, so those are some basic uh, elastic collisions and I think I have enough time to talk about inelastic